Hey guys, it's me, Ree, and today we're going to be taking a look at my record collection. Um, we've had this record player that's also like a CD player, a tape player, and a radio for a while, but it was never really getting much use where it was, and we weren't listening to it. So I asked to move it to my room because I've been picking up vinyls when we go like antiquing or something. Excuse the dogs, um, my dad's outside doing yard work and they're trying to get his attention. Um, but my friend is really into collecting vinyls and she's played a few records for me and I really wanted to start collecting them. I think they're really cool. So I asked my parents if I could have the record player in my room because I listen to what I write and I've started picking up vinyls here and there. I will warn you, if you're a vinyl collector and you see this and it's super, you see some that are like super duper beat up, it's because, as I've said before, I've gotten these while antiquing. I personally did not beat these up. A few of them are children's records from Disney and they've just been super beat up. I did purchase a vinyl cleaner specifically for records and the kit is coming today so I'm going to be cleaning these and hopefully they'll play a little better. None of them are warped but the dust on them does kind of affect how they play and they are like a few of them are more beat up than others so maybe they'll keep skipping but I hope not because they're cool and yeah but a lot of them were like maybe two dollars or five dollars so you'll see why in a bit. Um, the first one I got today, and it is Frozen 2. My dad ordered it for me because I mentioned wanting it. And this is the blue Walmart exclusive, and he thought it was cool because Elsa is obviously my favorite character. I might have mentioned this before, but if you follow me on Instagram, like, you definitely know I love Elsa. So he got me the blue one. My best friend has the red one from Target. So I think it's cool how they're different colors, because so, like, one's kind of with Anna and the other's with Elsa. The second one I also got today, and it is from Barnes & Noble, it is the Elton John Diamonds record. This has all of his greatest his hits on it, and I really wanted this because I listened to it a lot on like streaming sites, and it's two discs, and the inside has a bunch of really cool pictures of Elton through the years. And yeah, I'm super excited to listen to this one. You'll definitely be able to tell I'm a huge Elton John fan. I saw him in concert about two years ago and it was one of the best nights of my life. So I'm looking forward to putting more Elton John into my collection because I want to get all of his albums one day. The next one is The Carpenters and these are all the singles. And this is one of the ones that's kind of beat up and I'd like to be able to clean it and kind of get that more playable, I guess. But this one's another one you open it and it's beat up. But there's a picture. This next one is The Dream Academy. This is the first album. And I got it because I really love the song Life in a Northern Town and I want to be able to listen to it on here. But um, I did briefly listen to it the other day and their other music is actually really good. So if you've heard Life in a Northern Town and you want to hear Dream Academy's other music, I would definitely recommend that. And yeah. This is another one, like, this was the reason I actually had to go buy the vinyl cleaner because it's dirty, it's very dirty, and I wanted to be able to listen to it. Okay, so this next one is Jesus Christ Superstar by Andrew Lloyd Webber. I do have quite a few Broadway albums because I was a very big theater kid back in the day, and this is actually one of my favorites. Um, it has two discs. There might be a libretto in here. There's no, it just has the two discs and that's it um which is fine but i also have the phantom of the opera which is my favorite musical of all time i actually collect phantom of the opera stuff so i have music boxes cds dvds everything phantom of the opera related and this one does come with a very nice libretto and it has the illustrations if you have the cd it's pretty much the same libretto just a little bit bigger and the discs sleeves themselves have pictures on them from the original cast. This is the original cast, and then when you open it, it also has pictures. So that's really cool. I'm like losing everything here. I'm trying to be careful with this one because it's my favorite and it is older. I have Porgy and Bess, which is another great musical. I have a lot of Gershwin albums. I think. 
this one is one of the beat up ones. It's bed knobs and broomsticks. sticks. It was only like two dollars, so I picked it up because I love that movie. If you haven't seen Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, it is on Disney Plus. I would highly recommend watching it. It's the Sherman Brothers who did um, the music for Mary Poppins. Angela Lansbury is in it, and it's just a very good movie. It's very underrated. If you like the movies like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang or Mary Poppins, I would highly recommend it. But this one is super beat up. And so I'm gonna have to clean that one very well. This isn't one of the ones I inherited from my great grandfather. If I didn't say anything, like a lot of these were inherited from him because he loves them. He collected these as well and he listened to them. Bye Bye Birdie. This one's another one. Um, it's a Christmas album. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth and it's a bunch of children's songs. So I think my probably my grandmother and my aunt used to listen to this a lot, which is kind of cool to think about. This next one is really cool. Um, I thought this was just like a single at first because um, it's NXS, it's Need You Tonight and Never Tear Us Apart. And so when I picked it up, I was like, oh, it's just a single. And then it opened. It's actually a Hallmark Valentine's Day card that my dad gave to my mother. So you can see it says, I love you, Roger, because that's a fantastic dad. And I looked it up because I think this is a really cool concept. Like I know this is older because they don't have it anymore. But um, Hallmark does still make these, and they have like more modern music now. And so like, if you're gonna get your girl or your partner or anything, like in this case, it's with my dad getting something for his girl, so I said that. If you're getting something for your partner, this is the way to do it. Like, I promise you, like good things will happen if you do this. Um, the next one is Midsummer Night's Dream. And my friend gave this to me because the music library in our college, I guess, was um, getting cleaned out and they had free records, so he snagged this one for me, so thanks, Fred. And it is the Mendelssohn version, which I mentioned really liking, so he gave it to me. This is another one of the very beat up um, Disney records. It is Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day. And this was actually a storybook. Like, there's a storybook inside of here, and it's read to you, and it also has the music in it. But as you can see, it's torn up, and there are pages torn out because a child obviously owned this. And which is fine. I'm not gonna be mad about it. I'm here for the music. But it would have been cool to see the storybook. Um, I have Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, which is another um, Android Weber album. I have Rogers and Hammerstein, Showtime on Broadway, Elton John, Rock of the Westies, and like I, I'm a fan of Elton John but I'm just now learning like all the history and stuff about Elton John. Like I'm no means an expert. I just really appreciate him and I've, I always have. But James Newton Howard, who is a really amazing um, movie composer now, is actually the pianist on this. He's doing keyboards, which I think is super cool. I didn't expect it, but I think it's really cool. And that's him right here. That's James Newton Howard. One thing I really appreciate about all of the Elton John albums is that Bernie Taupin, who did the lyrics for him, and they've worked together for years, like decades. And they he always is kind of equal to Elton in a sense. Like, Elton always makes sure to give him like the same treatment. And that's really amazing to me because I love their friendship so much. And at the concert, they said they've been working together for decades and they still haven't gotten into a fight, which I think is super cute. This is another Disney album. It is Lady and the Tramp, which is one of my favorite Disney movies. And this also belonged to a child because you can see where they scribbled on the back, which I, mean, I, don't, I don't mind. I'm, I'm not gonna be picky about this, but um, this is sung by like, not the cast it's like singers so it's like all the songs from the film it's not actually the soundtrack but it's still very nice i listened to it the other day i have another elton john album and it is captain fantastic and the brown dirt cowboy which is very cool um the illustrations on it are really pretty all these elton john albums are super pretty and i definitely recommend this one i was very surprised how much i liked it have another Elton John album that is Madman Across the Water. This is the one with Tiny Dancer on it, so a lot of people like this one. And like the Winnie the Pooh album, when you open it, 
there's like a book inside of it which has the lyrics to the songs and pictures which I thought was super cool. I really like this one too, I was surprised. I mean, I'm not really surprised, but like, there's a lot of songs on here that I just hadn't heard before and I was surprised at how nice they were. Um, this was the first one I, I bought this one like a couple weeks ago and this was the first one I listened to when after I moved it in here is Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. And I can honestly say like, I love Amy Winehouse so much. I love her music, I've used it to audition for stuff. I just feel like it's very lucky for me. There is not one song on here that I don't like, so if you are looking for an album, even if you don't have a record player or something, like you can obviously listen to this on streaming sites, you can get the CD. I would definitely recommend this album, it has a very jazzy feel and it's very calming to me. It's an explicit album, so she does swear an awful lot, but if you're an adult or you don't mind swearing, I would definitely recommend listening to it, like I cannot recommend it enough. Okay, now we're getting into the records that are definitely from my great-grandfather, mixed in with some older Broadway ones, I think. This is- I don't know what this is. It's Shaving Cream by Benny Bell, and it's a bunch of polkas, because he loved polkas. And I don't mind having this in my collection, because I think it's cool. Plus, like, it's my great-grandfather's. I. I didn't really get to know him that well because he had a stroke when I was younger so he couldn't talk that well. So like I kind of think of this as a way of getting to know him and plus like polkas are fun sometimes. Um, <laughs> High Harmonica over Broadway so I guess this is, I don't know if I bought this or I got this from him because when I lived in Arkansas there was this huge antique mall and I would just grab vinyls that just said Broadway on them or my father would or my and he would give them to me so like maybe I bought this maybe I didn't I don't know Marion Marlowe dearly beloved I genuinely don't know what this is but like it looks super cool so maybe I'll give it a listen and see if it's any good um holiday in Manhattan with Cole Porter I do like Cole Porter so like I think I got this, but even if I didn't, my great-grandfather also liked Broadway, I think, so I, I'm sorry, I don't know where I'm getting these from. Kiss Me Kate. I definitely bought this one because I love Kiss Me Kate. We watched it in high school when we were on fire, so like I definitely bought this one because I loved Kiss Me Kate. That's the original cast. I know I got this one. This is The Sound of Music. It's a very good show, obviously. I'm sure everyone's seen it. It is beat up, so. Yeah, I think this is the... No, I didn't buy this. Oh my god, my grandfather's address is on here. Oh my god. This is my great-grandfather's. So yeah, he was into musicals. I don't want to cover that, he's dead. But it's really cool to see these and be like, is this mine or is this his? So like, now I'm realizing we have the same taste in music. Annie, get your gun. I'm not even going to try to say if this is mine or this is his, because there's an overlap. And it's Annie, get your gun and Call Me Madam. And it's just a selection of songs from each. We have Can Can and Kiss Me Kate. And I think this is the last. Nope. Honky Tonk Piano. That's definitely his. And this last one is definitely his as well. It is the Romper Room Birthday Party song. I'm, I didn't look this up yet, but it seems to be like an old kids program. And there's a bee that was their kind of their mascot. I kind of think of it as the equivalent to like Barney the, the dinosaur or something. I don't know. But anyway, it's really cool. And I think like even though pokas and stuff like that aren't really my personal favorites, I'm definitely excited to listen to these and kind of see what he was into and kind of see just what they are because I've never heard of some of these things. But yeah, that is my vinyl collection. It's definitely going to grow and I might put some of them in, like, in a separate box so they don't get beat up in here or something. What you see right here are just some loose covers that I kept because who knows when I'm antiquing I might see one without a sleeve and have to replace it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, Hopefully that was interesting, and if you have, if you collect vinyls, feel free to comment your favorite vinyl, or message me on Twitter or Instagram, and we can talk. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and you get some sort of sense of my 
music taste, even though some of these aren't mine. But until next time, have a fantastic week, and I will see you.